Lord. Jehovah Jireh, we come before your throne and we say thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the last day of June 2023. Father, we praise you, O oh God. We give you glory. We give you honor because you're mighty God. You are excellent. You are worthy to be praised. Father, receive our prayers as we cry out to you. Receive our worship as we look to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for your hand upon our lives. Thank you, O oh God, because you're mighty. You are victorious. You are the all-sufficient God. King of kings, uh, Lord of lords, we adore you today. In the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, let your name be praised uh, as we honor you. Uh, let your name be praised uh, as we worship you. Uh, receive our prayers, O oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, we have been calling on to you uh, since January. We have been calling on to you uh, February, March, uh, April, May. And this is the last day of June, uh, mighty God, as we are going into the month of July. According to your word to me, oh God, settle your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, mighty God, lay your hands upon them in the name of Jesus. Uh, glorify yourself in their lives uh, by the power and the blood of Jesus. Uh, my God, arise, oh God, uh, and fight the battle of your people, oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, righteous, redeeming God, we give you praise. Uh, powerful God, we give you glory uh, because you are excellent. Uh, you are mighty. You are victorious. Uh, and we say thank you today. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Father, let your name be praised uh, as we worship you. Uh, let your name be exalted uh, as we glorify your name. Uh, take all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Uh, as we say, thank you, Lord, uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you, everyone, and welcome to our Pray Your Way into the new month. And we are praying into the month of July, July 2023. Whether you believe it or not, we're in July, July of 2023. And we trust God to do great and marvelous things in our lives in the month of July 2023. So right from the screen, you can see that July is bringing good news. We're into the going into the month of divine settlement, and we'll definitely talk about it. This is a two-in-one program because we have been praying for divine settlement. The, the theme of the program that we've been doing is your divine settlement is here. And so we're definitely praying into the new month and continue the program. Your divine settlement is here. So this is um, day two of the program, and we trust God to settle our case in all aspects to the glory of God. All right? So I want to encourage you right now to take the opportunity to like this video, share it with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and also hit that notification bell so that whenever we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. Also, if you're considering to be a blessing to the ministry, you can do so. Go to the ministry website, www.ogodariseministries.com. And right there, you can see lots of opportunities and ways to give. As you do that, the Lord will bless you. You can also bless our channel right here on YouTube by joining the channel as a member. And also you can give through your super tank, super stickers, super chat, all those little super supers on the channel. And we trust that your blessing will advance the kingdom of God. All right. So before we get anywhere, for those that are here for the first time, I just want you to know every time we meet, we read the Bible. By the grace of God, we're in 1 Timothy. We're at chapter 3. So tonight we're looking at 1 Timothy chapter 3 and also chapter 4. We're looking at 1 Timothy chapter 3 and chapter 4. So let's grab our Bible. We're using the Passion Translation of the Bible. And if you don't have access to the Passion Translation, whether it be online or hard copy, no problem. Just use whatever version that you have access to. Okay, so let's do it right now and let's get into our prayers. If any of you aspires to be an overseer in the church, you have set your heart toward a noble ambition. For the word is true. Yet an elder needs to be one who is without blame before others. 
He should be one whose heart is for his wife alone and not another woman. He should recognize as one who is sensible and well-behaved and living a disciplined life. He should be a spiritual shepherd who has the gift of teaching and is known for his hospitality. He cannot be a drunkard or someone who lashes out at others or argumentative or someone who simply craves more money, but instead recognized by his gentleness. His heart should be set on guiding his household with wisdom and dignity, bringing up his children to worship with devotion and purity. For he is, for he, for he is unable to, okay, that's my alarm. For he is unable to properly lead his own house, for he is unable to properly lead his own household well. How could he properly lead God's household? Very important to know that. He should not be a new disciple who would be vulnerable to living in the clouds of conceit and fall into pride, making him easy prey for Satan. He should be respected by those who are unbelievers, having a beautiful testimony among them, so that he will not fall into the traps of Satan and be disgraced. And in the same way, the deacons must be those who are pure and true into their word, not addicted to wine or greedy or with greedy eyes on the contributions. Instead, they must faithfully embrace the mysteries of faith while keeping, a cleanse, while keeping a clean conscience. And each of them must be found trustworthy according to the standards before they are given the responsibility to minister as servant leaders without blame. And the women also who serve the church should be dignified, faithful in all things, having their thoughts set on truth, not known as those who gossip. A deacon heart must be towards his wife alone, leading his children and household with excellence. For those who serve in this way will obtain an honorable reputation for themselves and a greater right to speak boldly in the faith that comes from Jesus Christ. I'm writing all this with expectation of seeing you soon, but if I'm delayed in coming, you already have this, these instructions on how to conduct the affairs of the church of the living God, he, his very household and the supporting pillar and firm foundation of the truth. For the mystery of righteousness is beyond all question. He was revealed as a human being and as, a, as our great high priest in the spirit, angel gazed upon him as a man and the glorious message of his kingly rulership is being preached to the nations. Many have believed in him. He has been taken back to heaven and has ascended into the place of exalted glory in the heavenly realm. Yes, great is this mystery of righteousness. Amen. All right, so let's look at 1 Timothy chapter 4. Chapter 4. The Holy Spirit has explicitly revealed at the end of this age, many will depart from the true faith, true faith one after another devoting themselves to spirits of deception and following demon-inspired revelations and theories. Hypocritical liars will deceive many, and their consciences won't bother them at all. They will require celibacy and dietary restriction that God doesn't expect, for he created all foods to be received with the celebration of faith by those who fully know the truth. We know that all creation is beautiful to God, and there is nothing to be refused if it's received with gratitude. All that we eat is made sacred by the word of God and prayer. If you will teach the believers these things, you will be known as a faithful and good minister of Jesus, the anointed one. Nurture others in the living word of faith and in the knowledge of grace which you were taught. Be quick to abstain from senseless tradition and lunch and legends, but instead be engaged in the training of truth that brings righteousness. For athletic training only benefits you for a short season, but righteousness brings lasting benefit in everything. For righteousness contains the promise of life for time and eternity. Faithful is the word, and everyone should accept him. For the sake of this ministry, we toil tirelessly and are criticized continually, simply because our hope is in the living God. He's a wonderful life giver of all the children of men and even more so to those who believe. Instruct and teach the people that I've taught you. And don't be intimidated by those who are older than you. Simply be the example they need to see by being faithful and true in all that you do. 
speak the truth, and live a life of purity and authentic love as you remain strong in your faith. So until I come, be diligent in devouring the word of God. Be faithful in prayer and in teaching the believers. Don't minimize the powerful gift that operates in your life. For it was imparted to you by the laying on of hands of the elders and was activated through the prophecy they spoke over you. Make all of this your constant med meditation. Make it real with your life so that ev so everyone can see that you are moving forward. Give careful attention to your spiritual life and every cherished truth you teach. For living what you preach will release salvation inside you and to all those who listen to you. Amen. All right. And that's the word of God. Let's just come before God. You know, we have gone through six long months of the year. Some of us just need a few minutes and we're into the seventh month, month of July. Let's just go before God and ask him for mercy. In any way that we have sinned against the Lord, even in the month of June, from January till now, Let's just begin to ask the Lord for mercy. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus and we ask you for mercy. Mighty God and my Lord, we come to you and we surrender, O oh God, before your throne and we ask you for mercy. Father, in any way that we have sinned against you, in any way that we have offended you, my Lord and my God, we ask you for mercy. Father, I yield myself to you, God, and I surrender and I ask you for mercy, O oh God. Search my life, search my heart, search my way, search my thought. See if there's any way in me that doesn't please you and have mercy upon me in the name of Jesus. Have mercy, O oh God, by the power in the blood of Jesus. Lord, let your name be praised uh, as I surrender to you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, let your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus as we cry out to you, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, thank you for being a faithful God. Thank you for being a great God. Uh, thank you for you are all sufficient. Uh, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Uh, Lord, let your name be glorified. Take all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Uh, as we say, thank you, Lord. Uh, Father, let your mercy speak. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy, O oh God, be enough for everything that I've done to offend you, O oh God. And Lord, mighty God, as I cry out to you for mercy, deliver me, O oh God, by your strength. Deliver me by your might, O oh God. Father, set our children free, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, uh, we surrender all to you. Uh, Lord, we say take full control. Uh, let your mercy prevail. Uh, take all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Uh, as we say, thank you, Lord. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. All right. So we're into the month of divine settlement. That is what we're into, the month of divine settlement. So I want to talk just a little bit about this um, divine settlement with you. And then once we talk about this settlement, then we can go into prayers for the month of July 2023. So if you talk about settlement, a settlement, if you ask me in layman's term, is a formal conclusion to a dispute, you know, a final conclusion or formal conclusion or agreement to a dispute. And so when you settle something, you remove a person. If you're settling two people, for example, you remove a person from the place of discomfort to a place where they are comfortable. All right. And so if say, for example, money is owed out to you out there, you know, we just want to be practical. Once the money that is owed out to you comes back in your hand, which is what you're entitled to, you know, you'll find that you may experience, especially if you're going through a hard time, you may experience a sense of relief knowing that you get back what is yours. And that is a form of settlement. So when you're talking about the Bible, the Bible talks so many things when it comes on to settlement. All right. So I want you to keep in mind that God never goes back on a promise before we get into that. So God promises the children of Israel that he will bring them to the promised land 40 years before this time. And so he will, and, and when God said that, he never break his word. And so God fulfills what he say will do. And that is where we're going to get when it comes on to um, settlements. 
So settlement, if you ask me, or divine settlement, if you ask me, is basically God causing every limitation, obstacles, challenges, problems that wants to negate the plans of God for your life. God is causing them or causing you to have triumph over them. So in other words, God turned your obstacles to miracles. He turned your trials into triumph. You turn your test to testimonies and you really and truly depend on God because he is your source. All right. And so we are going into the month of divine settlement. You know, the Israelite is a perfect example of, you know, the, a, a model for a settlement. But the truth is that those are the days of the Israelites. We are living in the day where we are crying unto the Lord. And we are going to provoke him in this month of July for the settlement that he has um, said that we will have. So what is meant by settlement? So settlement, or when you provoke God into divine settlement, it means that, you know, to be quieted or brought to rest, you know, that means that you're settled. It means that you successfully address the problem or obstacle that is standing in your way. It also means that you put a stop to all disputes and conflicts in your life. And it means that you are free. You are emancipated. All right. So let's take a look at the Bible. First Samuel chapter one, verse 10. First Samuel chapter one, verse 10. So first Samuel chapter one says, NLT say, Hannah was in deep anguish, crying bitterly as she prayed to the Lord. If you know the whole story of Aunt Hannah, she was crying because she was experiencing some form of suffering. And so this suffering that she was experiencing, as we know from the Bible, is childlessness. She wanted a child. And she went through so much um, persecution and you know, maybe name calling and so many things by people in her time because she didn't have a son. But she was crying bitterly to the Lord. She was asking God, God, you must arise and settle my case. But the truth is that God used a source from the least expected way to come. And, and Hannah could have really take it the other way and tell off, um, you know, you know, the prophet Eli, so many things. But instead, she humbled herself before God and she never offended the man of God. So with through that source, God allowed her to experience divine settlement. And so as she cried out her heart to the Lord, God blessed her with that son. And so you know the son, Samuel. And you know what Samuel means? It means God has heard. That's what Samuel means. And so God gave her that source of joy. He gave her the settlement by giving her a son. And she, in turn, gave back her son to the Lord. All right? So I don't know about you, but you may be facing some form of oppression this month. You may be facing some turmoil in your marriage. You may be first facing all sorts of things where the Egyptian of your life has been troubling your Israel. But this is the day that we can say and we can boldly confess that we're going into the month of divine settlement. It's up to you. Do you want to experience the settlement of God? Do you want God to divinely intervene in your matter and settle your case? It can be done. God will do it. It's just you have to cry out. Be like Hannah. Cry out to God and ask him to help you. So um, with all that said, when you're talking about the settlement, there's, there's so many things we can look at, but there are some things that I want you to know that when you want God to settle you. So there are some covenant requirements for settlement. And so Christianity is a faith of responsibility. And every provision places a demands on you to assess it. So the word of God remains the power behind our settlement. And we all know that. You can look at scriptures the word of God remains a power. So use the word of God. It is your power behind you receiving your divine settlement. So some of the things we need to do. First, you need to be born again, right? Until you are called, you are not a candidate of divine settlement. So if you're listening to me and you haven't given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, I want you to take the opportunity and do that right now. For those that, you know, maybe you have given your life to Christ in the past, and you're not really walking with God anymore, here's an opportunity to rededicate your life to God. 
So there's a need for us to rededicate our lives by returning to God in obedience. We must stay connected to the Prince of Peace and we must be away from the, 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 the things that cause this curse and affliction to come upon our lives. So I want you to say this prayer for me if you want to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I come before you now. I know that I'm a sinner. Mighty God, have mercy upon me. Today, I confess that I'm a child of God. I surrender my life unto you. Come into my life. Take control of my life. Lord, fill me with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Today, I declare before the word that I'm a child of God. Father, take all the glory as you take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. So if you have said that prayer, I want to encourage you to um, reach out to a Bible-believing church and let them know that you have given your life to the Lord. And also ask them for some help with your discipleship so that you can you know, have a, a great um, opportunity in serving and knowing the things of God, serving the Lord and knowing the things of God. If you don't know where to reach out to or you have nowhere to reach out to, send us an email www.ogodariseministries.com, right to the contact section. Just send us an email there and we'd be happy to connect you to resources available to you. So um, before we even continue to, just a few more things we have to point out. So how you receive settlement in the Lord, you need to settle with the word of God. And the word of God is, the, it, it, it is really the path to peace that you need. And the word of God will engage you you know, by, uh, in, in, with your prayers, it will help you to have a closer relationship with the Lord. And also it will put the enemy that is pursuing you, put them to flight. We need to also display the love of God. And so we need to know that when we are in love with Christ, it naturally flows to men around us. So we need to display the love of Christ. We need to enter into a love covenant with God so that our life is not, be, is not a life of struggle. We need to make the choice to serve the Lord. So if you want the Lord to settle you, make a decision to serve him. Serving God is not a gift. It's a choice. So make up your mind and your heart that you're going to turn to God and serve him. And we pray that as you serve the Lord, the Lord will remember you and settle your case. And finally, which we said that earlier, be settled in the house of God. There's so many people that reach out to this ministry. And they want to um, prayers and they want that. And when you check with them, they don't even belong to a church. You need to belong to a church. Anybody online telling you that your online ministry is the only place you need to be, they're deceiving you. You need to belong to a church. This is not a church. I clearly said it to everybody. This is just an online outreach ministry. As I'm speaking to you, I belong to a church. It is very, very important to be a part of a church. Don't forget the assembly of God. Be over in a church. You need to have some form of covering over you, you know, so that when you're faced with the wiles of the enemy, there's some you have somewhere that is your power source, that is your covering. And when you come here to pray, this is just extra additional prayers that will help you to boost even all your requests that you have before the Lord. So very important to make sure that you're a part of a church. All right. So with all that said, we're going to pray some prayers and we're going to trust God for divine settlement in um, this month of um, July. We know that the Lord will work it out for us. You know, in the Bible, in 1 Samuel chapter 10, I think it's 1 Samuel chapter 10, 1, 10 verse 1. You know, Samuel took a small jar of olive oil and he poured it on the head of Saul. And so he kissed Saul and told him, the Lord has chosen which is the Lord anoints him to be the leader and the ruler of his people. So when we're looking for a divine settlement, we need to look for the anointing and the ordination of the Lord. All right? So that's important. We need to trust the Lord for specific guidance. Wherein we need to look to God and say, you know, guide me, lead me, direct my path. And do not forsake me in all that I do. Very, very important. So today, or this month that we're going into July, we're not looking in for divine settlement in just one year, but we're looking for divine settlement 
in all eras. And by the grace of God, we know that God will arise and he will settle our case in this new month of July 2023. So we're going to pray some prayers right now. This is a prayer meeting what we're going to have now. We're going to pray this prayer right now. Um, I want to encourage you to take your Bible before we get into it. And we're going to confess Psalms chapter 91. Please grab your Bible. This is a part of the prayer. Don't be listening to me unless you're driving. So please, let's just grab our Bible. Let's confess Psalms 91. Then we're going to get right into the prayers for this new month. Psalms 91. If you hear me, please say amen in the chat. Just let me know. My voice is getting more beautiful to the glory of God. It's getting better. Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge. Even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample on the feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. 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 And amen. So we're going to cry out this one. We're going to cry out to the month of July. Let's speak into the womb of July. We're now in July. And we all say happy new month to you. Let's just cry out to God. You this month of July. Open unto me by fire. In the name of Jesus. Uh, you month of July. Yeah. Uh, open unto me by fire. In the name of Jesus. Uh, you this month of July. Yeah. Uh, open unto me by fire. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Heavens over the month of July. Open unto me by fire. In the name of Jesus. Uh, heavens uh, over the month of July. Uh, open unto me by fire. In the name of Jesus. Uh, heavens uh, over the month of July. Uh, open unto me by fire. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I take authority. Over this month, you must favor me by fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, I take authority uh, over this month. Uh, you must favor me uh, by fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, I take authority uh, over this month. Uh, you must favor me by fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, I take authority uh, over this month. Uh, you must favor me uh, by fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, I take authority uh, over this month. Uh, you must favor me by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Elemental forces. Hear the word of the Lord. Cooperate with me this month. In the name of Jesus, uh, elemental forces. Uh, hear the word of the Lord. Uh, cooperate with me this month. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, elemental forces, uh, hear the word of the Lord, uh, cooperate with me this month. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, elemental forces, uh, hear the word of the Lord, uh, cooperate with me this month. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, elemental forces, uh, hear the word of the Lord, uh, 
cooperate with me this month. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Elemental forces. Hear the word of the Lord. Fight against my oppressors. In the name of Jesus, uh, elemental forces, uh, hear, the, hear the word of the Lord, uh, fight against uh, my oppressors. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, elemental forces, uh, hear the word of the Lord, uh, fight against uh, my oppressors. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, elemental forces, uh, hear the word of the Lord, uh, fight against uh, my oppressors. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, elemental forces, uh, hear the word of the Lord, uh, fight against my oppressors. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, elemental forces, uh, hear the word of the Lord, uh, fight against my oppressors. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This month, the Lord shall perfect all that concerns me. In the name of Jesus, uh, this month, uh, the Lord uh, shall perfect uh, all that concerns me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, this month, uh, the Lord shall perfect uh, all that concerns me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, this month, uh, the Lord shall perfect uh, all that concerns me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, this month, uh, the Lord shall perfect uh, all that concerns me. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, I thank you for your redemptive power which never fails. In the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, I thank you uh, for your redemptive power which never fails. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, I thank you uh, for your redemptive power which never fails. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, I thank you uh, for your redemptive power which never fails. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, I thank you. Uh, for your redemptive power, which never fails. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I receive the mandate today to recover all I have lost. In the name of Jesus, uh, I receive the mandate today uh, to recover all that I've lost. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I receive the mandate today. Uh, to recover all that I've lost. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I receive the mandate today uh, to recover all that I've lost. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I receive uh, the mandate today uh, to recover all that I've lost. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I recover all my lost opportunities. From the hands of taskmasters. In the name of Jesus, uh, I recover all my lost opportunities uh, from the hands uh, of taskmasters. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I recover all my lost opportunities uh, from the hands uh, of taskmasters. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I recover all my lost opportunities uh, from the hands uh, of taskmasters. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I recover all my lost opportunities uh, from the hands uh, of taskmasters. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I recover all my lost opportunities uh, from the hands uh, of taskmasters. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My father said to me tonight, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh Lord, my father said to me this month, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, my father said to me tonight, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, arise uh, and set me uh, in this month of July, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, my father said to me tonight, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, uh, said to me tonight, uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My virtues, my money, in, in the hands of my oppressors, 
locate me tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, my virtues, uh, my money, uh, in the hands of my oppressors. Uh, locate me tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, my virtues, uh, my money, uh, in the hands of my oppressors. Uh, locate me tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, my virtues, uh, my money, uh, in the hands of the oppressors, uh, locate me tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, my virtues, uh, my money, uh, in the hands of the oppressors, uh, locate me tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, my virtues, uh, my money, uh, in the hands of the oppressors, uh, locate me this month. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, my virtues, uh, my money, uh, in the hands of my oppressors, uh, locate me this month. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You stubborn Pharaoh, refusing to settle me, settle me now and die. In the name of Jesus, uh, you stubborn Pharaoh, uh, refusing to settle me, uh, settle me now and die. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you stubborn Pharaoh, uh, refusing to settle me, uh, settle me now and die. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you stubborn Pharaoh, uh, refusing to settle me, uh, settle me now and die. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you stubborn Pharaoh, uh, refusing to settle me, uh, settle me now and die. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anointing for divine settlement. Fall upon me this month. In the name of Jesus, uh, anointing uh, for divine settlement. Uh, fall upon me this month. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, anointing uh, for divine settlement. Uh, fall upon me this month. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, anointing uh, for divine settlement. Uh, fall upon me now. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, anointing uh, for divine settlement. Uh, fall upon me now. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, a settlement is to be in a place of a position of rest and peace. Right? When you're settled, you must be experiencing some form of quiet, calm, and peaceful life. You know, when you're settled, it means that um, God pays for all of your debts, whether it be your sins, whatever it is. God is so merciful that he will take care of them. When your settlement is obtained, you receive the mercy of God. So we are praying that this month we'll recover back what the enemy has stolen from us. We'll be restored to our previous position, our place of rest. We will possess our possession. We will collect our inheritance. We will settle to the glory of God. Jesus settled Peter. If you look in the Bible in Luke chapter 5, 3 to 6, Jesus settled Peter. When you look in the Bible in Mark 10, 46 to 50, uh, 52, he also settled blind Bartimaeus. When you look at the story of Hannah, which we just read in 1 Samuel chapter 1, you can look at, you can read the whole 1 Samuel chapter 1. But when you look at that, he settled Hannah. God also settled Hezekiah. In 2 Kings 20, 1 to 6. God also settled Jacob in the, in the house of Laban. Look at Genesis chapter 30, verse 5. God also settled Solomon. He also settled Joseph after he had endured hardship. Check out Genesis 41, 40 to 44. So, because God has shown us that he has a track record of making us settled, we are claiming our divine settlement in this month of July, 2023. So we're in the position to receive. We are born again. We accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Now we have to continue cry out to God that this is the month of set divine settlement. I will not wait until the next month. This month cannot pass me by. Oh God, remember me for good and settle me in the name of Jesus. So if you want settlement right now, I want you to cry out these prayers that we are praying as if your life depends on it. Cry out the prayers. 
I know for me, you know, I pray so much that I have to be taking it easy on my voice, but I'm sure that we all can do these prayers. I'm very sure that we can do it. So let us cry out these prayers. We're going to trust God to settle our case. Let us cry out this one. Owners of evil, Lord. Carry a load and die. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, owners of evil, Lord. Uh, carry a load and die. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, owners of evil, Lord. Uh, carry a load and die. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, owners of evil, Lord. Uh, carry a load and die. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, owners of evil, Lord. Uh, carry a load and die. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, owners of evil Lord, uh, carry a load and die. Uh, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Any problem in my life that has vowed to live with me till, I, till the end of my life, die. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, any problem in my life uh, that has decided uh, to live with me uh, till I die. Uh, Die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any problem in my life uh, that has vowed uh, to live with me till the end of my life. Uh, die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any problem in my life uh, that has vowed uh, to live with me uh, till the end of my life. Uh, die uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power. That is attacking my destiny through animals. You are a liar. Die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any power that is attacking my destiny uh, through animals. Uh, you are a liar. Die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any power that is attacking my destiny uh, through animals. Uh, you are a liar. Die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any power that is attacking my destiny uh, through animals, uh, you are a liar. Die uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power anywhere that is prolonging and delaying the day of my settlement, die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any power anywhere uh, that is prolonging uh, and delaying the day of my settlement, uh, die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any power anywhere uh, that is prolonging uh, and delaying uh, the day of my settlement, uh, die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any power anywhere uh, that is prolonging uh, and delaying the day of my settlement, uh, die. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, my Father, before I finish this prayer, say to me, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, my Father, before I finish this prayer, say to me, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Oh God, my Father, before I finish this prayer, say to me, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, my Father, before I finish this prayer, say to me now, uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power, any family strong man that is using me to pay their debt, Die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any power, any family strong man uh, that is using me uh, to pay their debt. Uh, die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any power, any family strong man uh, that is using me uh, to pay their debt. Uh, die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any power, any family strong man uh, that is using me uh, to pay their debt. Uh, die. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, any power, any family strong man uh, that is using me uh, to pay their debts, uh, die. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, any power, any family strong man uh, that is using me uh, to pay their debts, uh, die. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power anywhere. That is waiting for the day of my settlement to attack my life. 
die in the name of Jesus. Any power anywhere that is waiting for the day of my settlement to attack my life, die in the name of Jesus. Any power anywhere that is waiting for the day of my settlement to attack my life, die. In the name of Jesus, uh, any power anywhere uh, that is waiting for the day uh, of my divine settlement uh, to attack my life, uh, die uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I want to encourage everyone to take the opportunity to like this video, share it with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and hit the notification bell so that whenever we go live, You'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. Also, remember to be a blessing to our ministry. Go to the website, www.ogodofriseministries.com. And right there, you can give to the ministry. You can also give through the YouTube channel, through the means of membership of the channel, super stickers, super chat, super thanks. And as you do that, the Lord will bless you. All right? So as you like this video, let's just continue with our prayers. Share it with somebody because it's a new month. People want to pray into their new month. So like the video so that other people will be able to see it, benefit from our prayers. Let's pray these prayers right now. I break and lose myself from every curse, bewitchment, witchcraft, and charms. Put upon my life uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I break and lose myself uh, from every curse, uh, bewitchment, uh, witchcraft, and charms. Uh, put upon my life uh, and my family line uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I break and I lose myself uh, from every curse, uh, bewitchment, uh, witchcraft, and charms. Uh, put upon my life uh, and my family line. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I break uh, and I lose myself uh, from every curse, uh, bewitchment, uh, witchcraft and charms uh, put up on my life uh, and my family line. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every curse with long legs in my family. Break uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every curse with long legs. Uh, in my family, yeah, uh, break uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every curse with long legs, uh, in my family, yeah, uh, break uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every curse with long legs, uh, in my family, yeah, uh, break uh, in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. I curse all local altars. Passion against me, yeah. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I curse uh, all local altars. Uh, passion against me, yeah. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I curse uh, all local altars. Uh, passion against me, yeah. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I curse uh, all local altars. Uh, passion against me, yeah. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I curse uh, all local altars. Uh, passion against me, yeah. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I curse uh, all local altars. Uh, passion against me, yeah. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, arise and let eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood as sign against my life. Receive the judgment of death and die. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, arise. Uh, and let eaters of flesh uh, and drinkers of blood uh, as sign against my life uh, receive uh, the judgment of death and die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, arise uh, and let eaters of flesh uh, and drinkers of blood uh, as sign against my life uh, and my family uh, receive the judgment of death uh, and die uh, in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Any power in my family assigned to cut short my life, die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any power in my family uh, assigned uh, to cut short my life, uh, die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any power in my family uh, assigned to cut short uh, my life, uh, die uh, 
In the name of Jesus, uh, any power in my family uh, assigned to cut short uh, my life, uh, die uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blood of Jesus, deliver me and my family from the spirit of death. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, blood of Jesus, uh, deliver me and my family uh, from the spirit of death. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, blood of Jesus, uh, deliver me and my family uh, from the spirit of death uh, in this new month. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, blood of Jesus, uh, deliver me and my family uh, from the spirit of death uh, for the remaining of the year. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, blood of Jesus, uh, deliver me and my family uh, from the spirit of death. Uh, in Jesus' name, we're praying. Amen. So I want to tell you that when you're in the position to receive divine settlement, any power that is waging war against a true child of God is really right in their own arbitrary, right? So when we want our divine settlement, we cannot spare wicked powers. These wicked powers they must receive quick and swift burial, right? So if you're destined for greatness, if you're destined to receive your divine settlement, there will be a secret Haman lurking in dark places to inflict injury on you, all right? So the devil has set up lots of um, Hamans, you know, and these Haman, what they do, they come about and they try to bury the glory of God's people. They come to steal precious virtues and they come to destroy treasures that will make their lives great. So to receive our divine settlement, we need to bury these Haman. We need to bury them. Not only bury them, we must hang them on their own gallows. All right? So we must not suffer, you know, um, we, must not, we, not, we must not suffer any Haman in our lives to live. You know, the Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. We must not suffer any Haman in our lives to live. So we must locate these Haman, we must paralyze them, and we must force them to do repeated somersault until they are confused or, or until they are confirmed in another land. All right? And when I say that, I mean spiritual Haman. I'm not saying you should go there and injure somebody. We don't give that advice here. We deal with the spirit and the power behind people, not human beings. Okay? The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. So never ever we're saying that you should go bury a physical Haman. Be with the spirit and the power. Let God take care of that afterwards. Right? So the ministry of Haman, you know, when you're receiving your divine settlement, must be terminated. You must stop the activities of these Haman-like enemies in your life. And your goal in stopping the Haman is to destroy the Haman that is preventing you from receiving your divine settlement. So you must not allow the enemy of your progress to prosper on their demonic mission to stop you from receiving your divine settlement. You must destroy and disgrace Haman before he destroys and disgrace you. So we are continuing to pray because you know to receive your divine um, settlement, you will have a colorful destiny. You know that your star will shine brighter than before. You know that you'll be supernaturally endowed to function in the realm of glory. You know that you'll be a threat to the kingdom of darkness. You know that your goals and aspirations that you're making, you know, it will make the enemies sad. You also know that several people, you know, that are attached to your destiny will benefit from you fulfilling your destiny and your glory. And so when we discover that we have a role to play, you know, in the life of others and also in, even in fulfilling our own purpose in life. We need to silence these Haman-like enemies that will prevent us from receiving our divine settlement. All right? So tonight, we're going to put on the arm of faith. We're going to put on the arm of a fighter. We're going to use the weapon, persistent prayers. And we're going to make up our mind to silence, to destroy, to disgrace every Haman that wants to prevent you from receiving your divine settlement in this new month. 
We need to command the Haman trouble in your life to destroy their own self with their own weapons. We're going to decree that Haman must hang him own self. All right? So tonight we're going to issue a vengeance against the Haman that is troubling our lives, our marriage, all the years that you know that Haman is troubling you. We're going to issue that divine vengeance on them. You know the Bible said in Revelation 13, 10, it said, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the fate of the saints. The Bible said that all is not me. Now we're going to pray this one. Every Haman assigned against my life. Fall down and die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every Haman uh, assigned against my life. Uh, fall down and die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every Haman uh, assigned against my life. Uh, fall down and die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every Haman uh, assigned against my life. Uh, fall down and die. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every Haman uh, assigned against my life, uh, fall down and die. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every messenger of death assigned against my life and my family. Go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus, uh, every messenger of death uh, assigned against my life uh, and my family. Uh, Go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. Uh, every message of death uh, assigned against my life uh, and my family. Uh, go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. Uh, every message of death uh, assigned against my life uh, and my family. Uh, go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. Uh, every message of death uh, assigned against my life. Uh, and my family, yeah, uh, go back to your sender in the name of Jesus. Uh, every messenger of death, uh, assign against my life. Uh, and my family, yeah, uh, go back to your sender in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. Every agent of death inside my body come out and die, yeah, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every agent of death. Uh, Inside my body, yeah, uh, come out and die, yeah, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every agent of death, uh, inside my body, yeah, uh, come out and die, yeah, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every agent of death, uh, inside of my body, yeah, uh, come out uh, and die, yeah, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every agent of death, uh, inside of my body, yeah, uh, come out and die, yeah. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every gate of death assigned to swallow me. Swallow your honor. In the name of Jesus. Uh, every gate of death uh, assigned to swallow me. Uh, swallow your honors. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every gate of death uh, assigned to swallow me. Uh, Swallow your honor in the name of Jesus. Uh, every gate of death uh, assigned to swallow me. Uh, swallow your honors uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every gate of death uh, assigned to swallow me. Uh, swallow your honor in the name of Jesus. Uh, every gate of death uh, assigned to swallow me. Uh, swallow your honors uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every gate of death uh, assigned to swallow me. Uh, Swallow your honors uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every plantation of death, die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every plantation of death, uh, die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every plantation of death, uh, die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every uh, plantation of death, uh, die uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every plantation of death, uh, die uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every stronghold of death on my mind and imagination be pulled down uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every stronghold of death uh, 
on my mind and imagination uh, be pulled down uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every stronghold of death uh, on my mind and imagination uh, be pulled down uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every stronghold of death uh, on my mind and imagination uh, be pulled down uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, the power of death is broken in upon my life. In the name of Jesus, uh, by the resurrection uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, the power of death uh, is broken upon my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, by the resurrection uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, the power of death uh, is broken uh, upon my life. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every Haman like enemy. A sign against my life. Die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every Haman like enemies. Uh, a sign against my life. Uh, die uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every Haman like enemies. Uh, a sign against my life. Uh, die now uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every Haman like enemies. Uh, a sign against my life. Uh, die. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every Haman like enemies, uh, a sign against my life, uh, die. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every Haman like enemies, uh, a sign against my life, uh, die. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every Haman like enemies, uh, a sign against my life, uh, die. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You, Haman. Pack your load and get out of my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you, hey man, uh, pack your load uh, and get out of my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you, hey man, uh, pack your load uh, and get out of my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you, hey man, uh, pack your load uh, and get out uh, of my life and my marriage. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you, hey man. Uh, Pack your load uh, and get out of my life. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, in every year of my life, let not my life disgrace you. In the name of Jesus, uh, oh Lord, uh, in every year of my life, uh, let not my life disgrace you. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Oh Lord, uh, in every year of my life, uh, let not my life disgrace you. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. No evil will touch me throughout this month. In the name of Jesus, uh, no evil uh, will touch me uh, throughout this month. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, no evil uh, will touch me uh, throughout this month. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, no evil uh, will touch me uh, throughout this month. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In every era of my life, my enemies will not catch me. In the name of Jesus, uh, in every year of my life, uh, my enemies uh, will not catch me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in any eras of my life, uh, my enemies uh, will not catch me. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In every era of my life, I shall run and not grow weary. I shall walk and not faint. In the name of Jesus, uh, in every year of my life, uh, I shall run uh, and not go weary. Uh, I shall walk uh, and not faint. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This month, I will not be a victim of failure. And I shall not bite my finger for any reason. In the name of Jesus, uh, this month, uh, I will not be uh, a victim of failure and I shall not bite uh, 
anything uh, for any reason uh, in the right name of Jesus uh, in this month of July uh, I will not be uh, a victim of failure and I shall not bite uh, my finger for any reason uh, in Jesus name we pray amen help me oh Lord to meet up with God's standards for my life in the name of Jesus uh, help me oh Lord uh, to meet up with God's standard uh, for my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, help me, O oh Lord, uh, to meet up with God's standards uh, for my life. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I refuse to be a candidate of the spirit of amputation. In the name of Jesus, uh, I refuse uh, to be a candidate uh, of the spirit uh, of amputation. Uh, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So, you know, while we were praying, you know, just the two prayer points up, I could clearly see, you know, like somebody that we're praying with on the line, they're in so much bondage. I really don't know. It's only God alone that can take, and it doesn't matter what we're going through. It's only God alone that can take us out of it. But this person is in so much bondage. It's not even funny. So much bondage. So um, I want to encourage you to really pray and renounce some things that is in your life that you need to renounce. And also as you renounce those things, the person know who I'm talking. As you renounce those things that you were involved in, you know, or that are people that are put upon you and you know that what is what that what that is the case. As you renounce those things, I want to encourage you to pray and start to break curses and covenants over your life. Very, very important for this person because I don't know with that type of bondage how you're going to enjoy div divine settlement in the month of July. You really need to start address it. I believe on the channel, I'm very, very sure there are prayers that renounces evil association and covenants. I'm very sure there's a prayer there. So please pray those prayers so that, um, you know, you can renounce those things so that you can enjoy and benefit from divine settlement. Also, just so um, for everybody that's listening as well, we're having a program next week, Thursday. This is five hours of prayer, five hours of prayer. And that starts next week, Thursday. And all we're going to pray is to break curses. So this individual that is listening to me, it will be very important if you're keen to this program, not distracted prayers, but serious prayers and pray these prayers so that you can break those chains and curses over your life. We trust that as you break them, God will cause you to enjoy div divine settlement in this new month of July. All right. For those that are here, one more time, just like the video, share it with your friends, family, and loved ones, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Also hit the notification bell so that, you know, whenever we are live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray and the Lord will bless you. All right. So we're going to continue with our prayers for a divine settlement and we trust that God will do great and mighty things in our lives. All right. So let's pray this one for the new month of July. This month, the Lord shall perfect all that concerns me. In the name of Jesus, uh, this month, uh, the Lord shall perfect uh, all that concerns me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, this month, uh, the Lord shall perfect uh, all that concerns me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, this month, uh, the Lord shall perfect uh, all that concerns me. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This month. The Lord shall perfect all that concerns my spiritual life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, this month, uh, the Lord shall perfect uh, all that concerns uh, my spiritual life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, this month, uh, the Lord shall perfect uh, all that concerns uh, my spiritual life. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So you can ask the Lord to perfect what you want him to perfect for you in this month. So we're going to pray it again. Put whatever you want. This month, the Lord shall perfect all that concerns my family, business, and career. In the name of Jesus, this month, 
the Lord shall perfect uh, all that concerns my family, uh, business and career. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, this month, uh, the Lord shall perfect uh, all that concerns my family, uh, business and career. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Circle of long-term problems. A sign for me and my family this month. Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. Uh, circle of long-term problems. Uh, a sign for me uh, and my family this month. Uh, be scattered. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every circle uh, of long-term problems. Uh, a sign for me uh, and my family this month. Uh, be scattered. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Foundational powers are signed to push me into problems in this month. Daya, in the name of Jesus, uh, foundational powers uh, are signed to push me uh, into problems this month. Uh, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, foundational powers uh, are signed to push me uh, into problems this month. Uh, Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, foundational powers uh, are signed to push me uh, into problems in this month. Uh, die by fire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anti breakthrough weapons designed for me this month. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, anti breakthrough weapons uh, designed for me this month. Uh, Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, anti breakthrough weapons uh, designed for me this month. Uh, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, anti breakthrough weapons uh, designed for me this month. Uh, catch fire in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Anti favor weapons designed for me this month. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, anti favor weapons uh, designed for me this month. Uh, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, anti favor weapon uh, designed for me this month. Uh, catch fire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Backbones of my oppressors. Break uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Bob bones up my oppressors. Uh, break, 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 break. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Bob bones up my oppressors. Uh, break uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Bob bones up my oppressors. Uh, break now uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Bob bones up my oppressors. Uh, break, 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 break. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Bob bones up my oppressors. Uh, break uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Bob bones up my oppressors. Uh, break uh, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Any power assigned to spoil my life and reduce my life to nothing. Yeah, yeah. In the name of Jesus, uh, any power assigned to spoil uh, and reduce my life to nothing. Uh, die, yeah. In the name of Jesus, uh, any power assigned to spoil uh, and reduce my life to nothing. Uh, die, yeah. In the name of Jesus, uh, any power assigned to spoil uh, and reduce my life for nothing. Uh, die, yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You, my angel of blessing, my angel of settlement, arise and locate my life. In the name of Jesus, uh, you, my angel of blessing, uh, my angel of settlement, uh, arise uh, and locate my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you, my angel of blessing, uh, my angel of, of settlement, uh, arise uh, and locate my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you, my angel of blessing, uh, my angel of settlement, uh, arise, uh, locate my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you, my angel of blessing, uh, my angel of settlement, uh, arise uh, and locate my life. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
any power anywhere that is waiting for the day of my settlement to attack my life. Daya, in the name of Jesus, uh, any power anywhere uh, that is waiting uh, for my day of settlement uh, to attack my life. Uh, Daya, in the name of Jesus, uh, any power anywhere uh, that is waiting for the day uh, of my settlement uh, to attack my life. Uh, Daya, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Source of the strength of my oppressors. Dry up by fire in the name of Jesus, uh, source of the strength uh, of my oppressors. Uh, dry up by fire in the name of Jesus, uh, source of the strength of my oppressors. Uh, dry up by fire in the name of Jesus, uh, source of the strength of my oppressors. Uh, dry up by fire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Advice from the pit of hell. Meant to disfavor me. Back fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, advice uh, from the pit of hell. Uh, meant to disfavor me. Uh, Back fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, advice from the pit of hell. Uh, meant to disfavor me. Uh, Back fire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers of the taskmaster. Over my life and my family. Daya, in the name of Jesus, uh, powers uh, of the taskmaster. Over my life and my family. Uh, Daya, in the name of Jesus, uh, power of the taskmaster. Over my life and my family. Uh, Daya, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Unknown covenant that has chained me down to one spot. Break by fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, unknown covenant uh, that has chained me uh, down to one spot. Uh, break by fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, unknown covenant uh, that has chained me uh, down to one spot. Uh, break by fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, unknown covenant uh, that has chained me uh, down to one spot. Uh, break uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Situations embarrassing my life and my family expire this month uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, situations uh, embarrassing my life and my family uh, expire this month uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, situation uh, embarrassing my life and my family uh, expire this month uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Situations uh, embarrassing my life and my family uh, expire this month uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, situations uh, embarrassing my life uh, and my family this month uh, expire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power anywhere that has vowed that God will not arise in my matter this month. The Lord rebuke you uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, any power anywhere uh, that has vow uh, that God will not arise uh, in my matter this month. Uh, the Lord rebuke you uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This month, oh Lord, shake set my case. In the name of Jesus, uh, this month, oh God, uh, settle my case. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, this month, oh God, uh, settle my case. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, this month, oh God, uh, settle my case. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, this month of July, God, uh, settle my case. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, arise and show up as a mighty God in my life this month. In the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, arise uh, and show up uh, as a mighty God uh, in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, arise uh, and show up uh, as a mighty God uh, in my life. Uh, 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, arise with your weapons of war and fight for me this month. In the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, arise uh, with your weapons of war uh, and fight uh, for me this month. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, arise uh, with your weapons of war uh, and fight for me this month. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My Father, in this month of divine settlement, Show up as God in my life. In the name of Jesus, uh, my Father, in this month uh, of divine settlement, uh, show up uh, as a mighty God in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh Lord my God, uh, in this month uh, of divine settlement, uh, show up uh, as a mighty God in my life. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. From today, I will experience divine settlement in every area of my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, from today, uh, I will experience uh, divine settlement uh, in every area of my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, from today, uh, I will experience uh, divine settlement uh, in every area of my life. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I want you to take the opportunity right now and begin to ask God what you're wanting to settle for you in this month of July. Well, you are in the month of July. For most of us, we're in. For some people, a few minutes before they get in. Some people, they're way in. Whatever the case may be, it's still okay. You can ask God. So come before God right now. I don't know what you want. You know what you want. Go before God right now and ask him, what do you want him to settle? Tell him what you want him to settle. Father, in the name of Jesus, we gather today, God, as your children. Father, we know that this month is the month of divine settlement. Father, we know that you are the only one that can settle us. Any other settlement, Lord, it's not you. It's only by your power. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we are asking you in the mighty name of Jesus to settle our case. Father, we are trusting you for so many things. There are people here trusting you for marriage. There's people trusting you for finances. There are people trusting you for growth in their ministry. There are people trusting you for so many things. But mighty God, in the name of Jesus, only you can settle this case in the mighty name of Jesus. Settle our matter by the power and the blood of Jesus. Turn our lives around, oh God. Give us a testimony. Let men know that we serve a living God. Father, remove every mockery from our lives and turn them into miracles. Remove every trials and turn them into triumphs. Father, we cry out to you for victory. In the name of Jesus, victory in our marriage, victory in our families, victory in our finances, victory, oh God, because your peace reigns and rule in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your name be glorified. Let your kingdom come and your will be established. Be thou exalted, Lord, King of Zion. Thank you, O God, for settling us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so God bless you, everyone. And um, we're just going to take the opportunity right now as we have asked God for settling us. We're going to take this opportunity right now and just thank him for all the prayers that we have prayed tonight. Let's just begin to thank the Lord. Father, we just want to thank you. Lord, you are awesome. You are excellent. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Father, we have been crying to you. and We are asking you for divine settlement. Father, by your mercy, settle our case. Settle our marriage, settle our children, settle our finances, our home. All that we trust you for, settle us. Father, even in this ministry, settle all that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray, oh God, that you set, Lord, help us, Lord, so that when our turn come for help, there will be no burdens in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for everything that you have done tonight. We thank you for prayer well answered. We thank you for the great and mighty things that you are doing in our lives. Receive our prayers, oh God. Receive our worship, Lord. Thank you for all that you have done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. 
So God bless you. And um, for this month, please, this is your month of divine settlement. Make sure that you're in a place of prayer. Stay away from trouble at all costs. If you're going out with somebody and problem is their motive, run away. Flee from that. Flee from every forms of sins and way of oppression and problems so that you can enjoy the settlement of God. So this is the month of July 2023. This is your month of divine settlement. And um, we trust God that the Lord will set your case. We see you today because we're in today now. We're seeing you this evening at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube where we wrap up this program. Divine Settlement is here. And we trust the Lord will do great and mighty things in your lives. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And we will say to you, happy new month and enjoy your divine settlement. God bless you. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.